just a, a quick advertisement. This is a project we just recently finished. This is the Department of Energy in the U.S. The community has, and as of about three days ago, they shut down a uh, um, atomic uh, nuclear um, plant that had been operating for about 60 years continuously. So it's sort of like a big industrial center just shut down. Just shut down. 3,000 acres of really contaminated land, as you might imagine, and 3,000 jobs going away that were the best jobs in the county. So the work that we did with them was, what do we do next? Because it's a, they had to balance the considerations of cleanup with considerations of what kind of industry can we bring in behind this to pick up some of these jobs. So, and as you might imagine, it was a fairly pitched kind of discussion. Now, it's not like you know this question of Scottish independence, but people feel just as strongly about this question because it affects them very directly. Yeah, up until we uh, were invited to participate here with this method, we thought that, you know, we had seen conflict, right? This is a nuclear plant, what do we do? Keep it open, shut it down. But um, no, we, uh, it, it's very interesting to work with a project that's that controversial and to see how to try to help people work together in a room um, when you have some very strongly held views. And sometimes people can be intolerant to one another's viewpoints. And that's difficult for the project sponsor, difficult for the meeting organizer, and for the other attendees. We do think there's a better way to run public meetings at this time, which allows everybody a more equal say, doesn't allow the loudest voices to dominate. And we found that that's been one of the reasons for these high evaluation scores that we've attended. And this meeting is entirely consistent with the 160 odd meetings we've hosted in the last 15 years. It shows that people can participate in a mature and responsible way. Even when they don't agree with the answers, they can find a satisfaction in the way that the, the method works. So, we, we, you might not be surprised to find out that in some projects our sponsors, the, the state sponsored uh, sponsor may not uh, actually want us getting information from the public that's inconvenient for them. Similarly, we may have an uh, interest group or two who don't want us gathering information that's inconvenient for them. So. Sometimes the real challenge is to find everybody who's not on one or the other end of the football game and who wants to have a voice. And that's one of our goals here. So what we try to do, make sure we include a lot of people, make sure that the process quality, in other words, the way that we gather this information is good, that this information that comes out is actually useful and relevant to the problem and not just arm waving and that sort of thing. And then we do it efficiently. We, we gathered, I'm not sure, Several thousand data points from you guys this morning in a, what, a couple of hours. I realized it was a long period. But we gathered way more. If I tried to put that on flip charts, it'd be a stack of flip charts this high, right? Mm -hmm. And it's all, so this information is all organized in a way that we can go back in and look at it and provide it to these gentlemen. And you guys will have a way to download it and, and look at it yourself when we get that done. So the, the issue of efficiency from the public sector point of view and efficiency in terms of your time and people who come to a meeting are important things to consider when you're thinking about a public process. So that's that's what this is about. I don't think I'm going to talk about that. <laughs> this is a this is a typical. We, I told you the kinds of numbers you're giving. This is typical feedback we get when we ask people on it. We actually want to ask you on a scale of nine, on a scale of ten. This is the kind of response we've gotten over the last decade from different kinds of projects when we ask the process question. Now, they may hate all the results. They may hate all the options they have. When we ask them about how we went about deciding, they're pretty happy with that. So that's why originally we were we were anxious to come and, and to meet with you because we thought this could be something that could contribute to the way that you conduct your conversation going. Forward.